The following story is based loosely on molestation charges by former Minnesota State Congressman Jim Noblack, as reported by his daughter, Laura. Daddy's Girls. The scent of smoke woke Jamie. At first, she thought it was a neighbor's fireplace. They had been going through a cold snap, but the smell continued to seep into her bedroom, bringing with it an acrid, sour odor. She knew what to do. She grabbed a towel from the bathroom, soaked it in running water, and raced into the hall. The smell was more intense there, snaking up from downstairs. Her pulse sped up. An intense wave of heat rolled over her, burning through the layers of her skin. She rushed downstairs as orange-yellow flames started to lick the walls, arcing higher with each burst. Throwing the towel over her head, she ran toward the front door, but just then a tree crashed in front of her, across her path, its branches still ablaze. She started to hyperventilate, the smoke closing in, the flames even more intense. Frantic to escape, she had no time to wonder how a tree had fallen inside the house, no time to think. She had to get away. She climbed over the tree, the flames scorching her legs, and reached the front door. It was locked. She would be burned alive. Flames licked her feet, teasing up her legs. She was choking, her skin on fire, clothes alight. She tried to force the door open, but it wouldn't budge. She whipped around. The fire surrounded her. She tried to scream, but nothing came out. Jamie woke in a sweat, gasping for breath. She glanced around the room dark but cool. The windows as usual were open as they always were, even in winter. She switched on the bedside lamp and took a few deep breaths. On the other side of the bed, her husband Steve was lightly snoring. She got out of bed to check on Kenny, their four-year-old, peacefully asleep. She was safe. They were okay, weren't they? they?